Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be breaking down a new synopsis for the mid-season finale of The Flash, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, wow, this episode looks to be insane. Recently, according to DC World, who I was with at Comic Con in London, we got the confirmation that Zoom is returning in this episode and we're going to be breaking down the synopsis talking about the title what it all means because it heavily hints at a lot of stuff going down and i'm really excited this is the mid-season finale this is going to be episode eight the actual like cutoff point at the mid-season is episode nine but that's the crossover and technically they said this year the mid-season is going to be before the crossover and then the crossover is going to happen after so the title is what's past is prologue and that's actually a quote from shakespeare in the tempest if any of you guys perhaps has studied the tempest at school or university or maybe you've seen the play in london or something like that so the phrase was used in the tempest obviously by shakespeare and the tv show has quoted shakespeare quite a lot so they've obviously got an interest in some of those meanings and essentially the way they use it in the tempest if you've read the tempest is that they use it in a way to say that all that has happened before that time the past has led and it leads the main and it leads the main character to this opportunity to do what they are about to do therefore in the tempest it's commit murder so essentially how that could link into the flash and what's going on is to suggest that all that has happened up to that specific point where barry and nora are time traveling will break down the synopsis in a minute actually has led up to the consequence of them actually time traveling and therefore committing this you know change in the timeline so that is what it means it's a reference to shakespeare i really do like shakespeare and i highly recommend you go see the tempest or you read about the tempest i'm sure most of you have heard of it so this is how the synopsis goes for the mid-season finale barry and team come up with a plan to stop cicada however the plan calls for barry and nora to travel back in time to gather some key necessities however barry hesitates concerned about his daughter seeing parts of his life. Meanwhile, Sherlock takes his concerns about Nora to Iris, and Caitlin turns up a key asset in the fight against Cicada. So wow, this reveals so much. This is the best synopsis we've had in years. So let's break down the first part of the synopsis. They come up with a plan to stop Cicada, and this is in regards to what's happening next, so we'll move on and this is how it says it. The plan calls for Barry and Nora to travel back in time to gather some key necessities. And then it says, however Barry hesitates concerned about his daughter seeing parts of his life. Essentially, this is where Zoom, this is where Savitar, this is where Reverse Flash are all going to come in. Most likely we're gonna see fights with them. Potentially we'll get new fights with them, obviously, twisting and changing the timeline barry and nora are going back and nora's gonna see these parts she's gonna be going crazy seeing barry fighting zoom barry fighting savitar barry fighting reverse flash and many other things like that and so he's concerned of showing her these elements that weren't so happy for him in the past and also obviously changing the timeline they don't want to do that they just need to go back get some things in order to try and stop cicada maybe it's the fact that they're going to team up with Zoom, which I highly doubt will happen, but maybe it's in regards to like, maybe they have to time travel a few times, get things from these different years in the Flash. So we go from Reverse Flash to Zoom to Savitar. So jumping around the timeline, I think that's what's going to happen. And so Sherlock in this episode takes his concerns about Nora to Iris. And this is where we talk about the Nora mystery that was presented by Sherlock at the end of one of the first episodes of the season in regards to that Nora potentially has someone else that she's working with, someone that is leading her along, making her do these choices that she does. And so Sherlock is going to go to Iris to talk about that. And I do think there's going to be some major reveals in this episode potentially a major cliffhanger as well in regards to maybe what's going to happen later in the season and so i am just so excited for this the title's amazing the synopsis is insane we have so much to actually break down and theorize about i've done a little bit of theorizing here if you want some more videos let me know what do you think of this are you really excited let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys later goodbye
make us strong, it doesn't make us weak. Tongue tied to service like shut free. Tea.